Hi guys, good morning. This Denzo Blag speaking. I have a good stories about drones which can help you a little bit. My drones test in flight in Mapanup Lake in San Marcelino, Zambales near my wife's across the off area Barangay Burgos. The exact location of Mapanup Lake is in Barangay Aglao, San Marcelino. Drones can help you capture aerial shots and other beautiful things that you otherwise would never be able to shoot, which is why they are a favorite among vloggers. Here are 5 of the best vlogging drones that you can use to film your videos. Drones can help you capture aerial shots and other beautiful things that you otherwise would never be able to shoot, which is why they are a favorite among vloggers. Mariing itinanggi ng Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines na naging pahirapan ang pagkuha ngayon ng lisensya para sa paggamit ng drone. Here are 5 of the best vlogging drones that you can use to film your videos. If you want to capture incredible footage for your vlogs and give your followers a taste of some unique perspectives, then having a quality drone is essential. Let's take a look at 5 of the best vlogging drones to take your videos to the next level. Ones can help you capture aerial shots and other beautiful things that you otherwise would never be able to shoot, which is why they are a favorite among vloggers. Drone cameras are used to do aerial photography. So many photographers use these machines to get the footage of a particular area from the air. People are quite obsessed with selfies these days. They are also using drones nowadays to take selfies which are also known as drones. Drones and unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs are now so popular that you've probably seen people post drone photos on their blogs or watched aerial videos on your Facebook feed. It is perfectly fine to fly, take photos, and shoot videos for your personal blog or YouTube channel because this is considered non-commercial use. But there are drone laws, rules, and limitations you need to follow. Maximum flight altitude or height of 400 feet or approximately 122 meters. Must always have visual line of sight. Do not go behind buildings, billboards, clouds, or anything that blocks your view to the drone. Keep your drone at least 30 meters or 98 feet from other people. Not allowed near emergency situations. Not allowed during night time fly in daylight hours only. Not allowed in populated areas malls, schools, etc. Not allowed in restricted airspace 10 kilometers from airports, government, military buildings. And of course, respect private property and follow the rules set by the owner. You don't need a certificate as long as you operate your drone or unmanned aerial vehicle within the rules above. There are many cities and regions in the Philippines that have their own regulations in addition to the CAAP rules. For example, Davao City and Boracay have local laws where you need to get local government permission before operating a drone. Muling nagpaalala ang Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines o CAAP na maging responsable at alamin ang tamang paggamit ng drone. Good dog. <laughs>